common foot and ankle injections. Conditions which can cause pain and inflammation are treatable with the use of diagnostic and therapeutic injections. Common sites and conditions. The ankle joint. The ankle joint is formed by articulation of the tibia and talus. Injection is done to decrease the pain from trauma, arthritis, gout, or other inflammatory conditions. Another condition that may need an ankle injection is called the anterolateral ankle impingement. It can occur due to the buildup of scar tissue in the ankle joint or from the presence of a bony spur. With the ankle in a neutral position, mark the injection site just above the talus and medial to the tibialis anterior tendon. Use betadine solution. The needle is inserted into the identified site and directed posterolaterally. Pulling on the foot to distract the ankle joint is helpful. It will facilitate injection of the solution into the joint space and will allow the fluid to flow smoothly without resistance. First metatarsophalangeal joint is usually affected by gout and arthritis. Use betadine solution and the needle is inserted from the dorsomedial or dorsolateral surface. The needle is angled about 60 to 70 degree and is directed distally. Distracting the joint by pulling on the big toe is usually helpful. Perineal tendonitis is an irritation of the tendons that run on the outside area of the ankle, the perineus longus and perineus pervus. Use the betadine, then insert the needle carefully in a proximal direction when injecting the perineus pervus and perineus longus tendon sheath. Advance the needle distally to inject the perineus pervus at its bony insertion. Achilles tendonitis. Achilles tendonitis is irritation, inflammation of the large tendon in the back of the ankle. Achilles tendonitis is a common overuse injury that occurs in athletes. Injection of steroids should be given around the tendon and not through the tendon. Injection directly into the tendon is not recommended due to increased risk of tendon rupture. However, Platelet injection can be done through the tendon with needling and fenestration. Tarsal tunnel syndrome, condition of pain and parathesia caused by irritation of the posterior tibial nerve. Tarsal tunnel syndrome injection. Feel the pulse of the posterior tibial artery. The nerve is posterior. Find the area of maximum tenderness, then go about 1 to 2 cm above the maximal tenderness, that will be the injection site that is marked on the medial side of the foot and the area is prepped with betadine. The solution is injected at an angle of 30 degree and directed distally. Please warn the patient that the foot might get numb. Please advise the patient against walking and driving. This injection in the last resort is usually performed after a treatment program which includes rest, stretching, and shoe inserts. Plantar fasciitis. The plantar fascia is a band of connective tissue deep to the fat pad on the plantar aspect of the foot. Patients with plantar fasciitis complain of chronic pain symptoms that are often worse in the morning, especially with walking. Injection site is identified and marked on the medial side of the foot and betadine is used. Avoid injecting through the fat pad at the bottom of the foot to avoid fat atrophy. The needle is inserted in a medial to lateral direction, one finger breadth above the sole of the foot in a line that correspond to the posterior aspect of the tibia. The solution is injected past the midline of the width of the foot. 
all my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.